Hello everyone, my name is Hector Mendoza. A few months ago, I saw a post on Facebook and they were asking on how you can create a ceiling with multi um, trace in the ceiling. Uh, I didn't have time to post it, but I know that claim is probably gone. But anyway, for other people that want to know how to do this, let me show you how I do it. There's a million ways of doing it. Uh, but the easiest way I know is, is this is how I do mine. Okay, so I've had a few of them out there in the field. So this is what it's going to look like in Xactimate. Okay, so if you notice, there's walls in, in between. Now, if you go inside the room, see how there's no, no walls in between each one of these little segments. And uh, if you look, there's a trace in each one of them. Then you have uh, your joists or those spaces in between. Okay, so let me show you how easy it is to create something like this. <clears throat> I'm going to move this guy over to the right. So, uh, so when when I was looking at this. I guesstimated that this is like a three by three and there's probably six to eight inches in between each one of those uh, trays. So let's, uh, we'll say that there is, uh, uh, let me close this real here. Okay, so we'll put eight inches in between each one of them. Okay, so let, let's go ahead and, uh, so basically what I would do is I would create a room, okay? Um, so uh, I would create a room and inside this room on the exterior walls. Okay. First of all, I would make sure this room is nine feet or high, higher, higher you want than the first part. Like I'm putting a foot. I don't know how big this thing is. You could put six inches. So it would be eight feet, six inch. So we're going to start with nine feet. But the exterior walls, you would have to go in and make sure that you select them all. Because right now, okay, well, here. So, you see, if you go go to where it says missing walls, you would say yes. On opening base height, you would say zero. Opening goes to ceiling, you would say no. The uh, opening height would be eight feet and the thickness would be four. Okay, so... Now we got to create something where it would be, um, let's say, eight feet apart. So for right now, I'm going to create a room next to it, right? And this is this to give me my outside walls. Okay, so I'm going to go in here and tell this to be eight inches wide. Okay, uh, and I'm going to make it long because I don't know how how much how far I need to go. Okay, now the next thing I need to do, I need to separate this eight inches between the rooms. So I'm going to hit R again, and I'm going to go in here and change this to, uh, did I say eight <clears throat> inches? Hit enter. Let me make sure that's what I picked on the other one. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to go in here, snap that right there. And then I'm just going to snap that like that. Okay, so now I need to duplicate this four times because, you know, let's say we, you have one, two, three, four, five different uh, trays, a uh, five by five, right? So I'm going to hit Control C. I'm going to hit Control V. I'm going to hold my Control key. That way I don't have to keep on hitting Control V. And then all I have to do is just like click, click, click. There's one, two, three, four. And now that's five. I'm going to escape. And then I'm going to snap this right there. Okay. So this is what we're looking like right now. See? Okay. So now what I need to do now is duplicate that five times to the right. Okay, so 
I'm going to create another room. I'm going to change this to be eight inches wide. Okay. And then I'm going to just snap that to this first one. And then I'm going to snap this right there. Okay. Now I just need to duplicate. Whoa, something's wrong here. Oh, no, no, you don't want to do it that way. Excuse me. I see what happened. Okay. So I'm going to hit R, change this to a eight inch. And you want to make sure that this is longer. You don't want to try to open it because it'll, it'll, uh, it, it, it'll, it'll make a mistake. Okay. So now you see it worked good. Okay. So now I'm going to go right in here and I'm going to go in here and uh, <clears throat> select not the first one those right there i'm going to hit Control c Control v i'm going to hold my Control key that way i can just click one two three four now we have five bytes one two three four five one two three four five okay so now what i want to do is grab this and snap it right there okay and i want to create another room Use this hit my space bar here. Sorry about that. I'm gonna make this a little long. Go in here, change this to a inch. Okay, and I'm gonna grab this guy, snap it right there, and snap that guy right there. Okay, now so <clears throat> now all I have to do. See, right here we got a problem. So let me fix that problem. I mean, I, I could fix it with just... Uh, <clears throat> here. No. So the easiest way to fix this problem is just click here, 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 here. Hit Shift Enter. And you see, missing end to end. You're going to say yes. Tab. Um, Opening height zero here you can hit no tab uh, opening height is eight thickness is four enter okay it's because of the way I was copying and pasting so I, 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 I there was no big deal to fix it 3D let's see what we're looking like everything looks good okay I'm gonna hit Control S save now all I have to do there's columns inside here. Watch. Let, let's create some windows so you can see inside this area. So I'm going to hit W for window. I'm going to make a real long one. I'm going to go into the properties and I'm going to remove the grid by telling it no grid. Uh, then I'm going to hit Control C, Control V, hold my Control key so I can just place windows in each one of these walls. And then I'm going to hit 3D. Now you can see inside. You see? See all those columns? Now all you have to do is remove those columns and then we'll be done. So watch. I'm going to click here. Hold my. You can hit, hit the shift key or the control key. It doesn't matter. So what I do is I do a few at a time. That way uh, if you select something, you have to deselect. You, you're not having to reselect a bunch of them. So you just got to take little baby steps okay and delete okay and we're almost done see it didn't it doesn't really take long to do a, a room like this but it would be for me it's easier if i wasn't talking uh, now i want to select more than uh, one roll at a time so click 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 delete Okay, now I'm just going to do this last area. Uh, 
And then I'll show you why it's so important to do this when you're out there in the field to leak. Okay. Uh, okay, we're, no, we still got a few more steps. 3D, boom. Okay. You see, when you look inside, you got your trace. Okay, so, but look, there's a bunch of rooms right here. I'm going to delete this guy right here. Okay, that way we all, we only have one thing to deal with. Now, when I go to my estimate, look at that. All those rooms. You, you We want this to be all one room, right? So I'm going to hit sketch. I'm going to select everything. I'm going to hit my shift, control C. I just combined everything. I'm going to go to my estimate item. I'm going to double click here. Go to my edit grouping. I'm going to change this to living room. I'm going to hit OK. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to sketch. I'm going to look for that living room, right? And where is that living room? Oh, it's right here. So this room right here is the living room. So watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to select everything. I'm going to hold my control key so I can deselect the living room. I'm going to go in here to my properties. And you see where it says show uh, label. I'm going to hit in for no hit enter and that separated everything right i'm uh, not separated but this select now you're not seeing the um the labels so if you go to estimate you see you got living room and now that has living room and if you wanted to you can get this living room right and you can put that label anywhere you want so that way when your examiner looks at it they think which it is technically one one uh, room so now you can estimate this whole thing now what I'm going to do I'm going to delete this windows okay and what I'm going to do is I'm going to I already got another layer I'm going to duplicate a room exactly the size of the one that's underneath there so I can show you why it's so important if you have trays, you need to put trays because you, you know, you're living a lot of money uh, out of, you know, you're losing money. Okay, so let's hit R for room and then uh, so let's go in here and make sure we got it. Okay, you see how I snapped to that? Then I'm going to go right in here. Oops. Snap to that. Oops. And snap there. One here. Snap right there. I think we only got one more. I we might have already done it, but I'm just going to double check. Boom. Now those two rooms are the same, and I'm going to call this uh, bedroom. That way we can see the difference in price. So this room is eight. Now the ceiling height on those other ones is, is not the ceiling height. It's the, the basic room is actually eight feet tall. Okay, so if you go to your level, main level, you hit 3D, you come in here, now, it's actually going to be, the exteriors are always going to be 10 inches bigger than what the rooms are. All your exteriors are always like that. Now, you can change that in your properties. But So, if you click here, oops, um, so we go to the exterior wall. Watch what it's going to see the, well, here, let's, here, let's do it this way. trying to select that here let's do that boom okay so if we go there you see the ceiling height all the exteriors are eight feet and so is the other one now let's go to their estimate okay now we got two two rooms right one has multi uh mm, trace so now i'm going to select this one select this and Let's pretend we're going to put drywall one half ready to paint, uh, ready to paint. Yeah, 
DRY1 slash 2. You see drywall, hang, float, ready to paint. And then we're going to do the ceiling, walls, walls, and ceiling. Okay. And let's go ahead and put uh, PNT S. We're going to seal it since it's new drywall. We're going to put walls and ceiling. Okay. Now let's go ahead and paint it two coats. So we're going to put PNT P2. And then we're going to do the walls and ceiling. Boom. Now look at the difference in price. Uh, what else could we do with those? That's that's good enough. So let's go to the sketch. Uh, excuse me, estimate. And look at the difference. This one is four thousand ten dollars. This one is three thousand two hundred. So there's eight hundred dollars, basically eight hundred dollars that you would be missing out, or you would be cheating your customer. So if you have a tray, you owe them for a tray. If you know if it doesn't have a tray, then it's going to be a, a regular uh, room. Thank you for watching this. Uh, if you like this, uh, you know, put a like on that uh, on YouTube. Thank you for watching my video, and I will see you on the next one.